I listened to Ohima Messi three days ago when she spoke about the fact that she loves to cry because it's therapeutic for her. And she also spoke about her song, Otimimu, the fact that it was Kwabna Kwabna who wrote the song for her. I want to ask you, what inspires you as a gospel musician? Um, the word of God. The word of God that inspires me. Mm. And then life. You see, we are here on earth for a purpose. So, if you are alive, you need to give God the gratitude that he deserves. Mm. Because the Bible says, it is the living that shall praise the name of the Lord. So, as Lady Ophelia is alive, it's a song of gratitude. Mm. Would you be comfortable to tell your story for maybe someone like a secular artist mm -hmm. to pen down music for you? I mean, when you talk of the industry, a lot of people find it a bit some way when a secular artist is doing something for a gospel musician, for instance, a collaboration. But you hear something that Kobna Kobna writes a song for Hima Mercy. She sang that song and she's won an award with it. Mm. Yeah, why not? Why wouldn't I accept if a secular artist writes a song or composes a song for me? God can use any other or any medium to speak. In the Bible, God used a donkey to speak. So it doesn't matter. If God wants to deliver his word, he can deliver it through even an animal. So whether being secular or gospel or any other, an ordinary person, God can still deliver a message through that fellow. And you don't mind doing a song with a secular artist? No problem. I'm even waiting for Shatawali. 